Hey guys, and welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners. Today, we're gonna touch on a subject that a lot of people talk about, and that is fender flares. We know on some of the older Jeeps, like the JKs and the TJs, these things fade really fast. And especially when you put it up against a dark color like the black, they just sort of look like crap. And so when you're building your Jeep, you want that nice stance and that nice look. So we could either cut them back or replace them with something that's a little bit more stylish. Let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so we're talking about fender flares today, and thank you so much for rejoining us. On our new little toy that we have here, our 2016, as I pointed out, the fender flares fade, they don't look right, and it doesn't quite give you that look that you're doing. So what we purchased is the Smittybilt Stubby fender flares. Um, we're gonna open up our wheel wells, we're gonna create some wheel clearance, and, you know, should the wife be willing, we should be able to squeeze 37 inch tires under this thing. But you know what? One step at a time. For today, we're gonna tear off these fender flares, put the new ones on, and let's see how it looks. All right, guys, so the real easy or more professional way to do it is put the Jeep up in the air and remove the wheels so you have all the space in the world. However, since not everybody has that luxury, we're gonna show you how to do it with the Jeep on the ground. First, the most handy tool you could have is gonna be one of these guys. This is gonna allow you to pop all those little Chrysler Christmas tree clips out of the inner fender, which you need to do first. So let me show you that. We're starting with the rear fenders, and there are six of those clips all together. Once you get those out, now we're ready to take the fender flare off. Now, since our example is a JK Wrangler, this is what I have to show you. Most Jeeps are gonna be very similar. Some of the older Jeeps, there might be a little bit more hardware. But the nice thing about the fender flares that Jeep puts on here is they are breakaway flares, which means that they're designed to take a hit and to pop right off if necessary. So in order to get them off the Jeep, it's just a matter of putting some strength into it and ripping them off. Now that we got the fender flare off, need to make sure that everything's cleared out of the way for the new one. Some of those plastic clips from the fender flare are gonna remain in place. Again, nice handy dandy tool, and we can simply pop these right out. And don't worry about breaking them because you're not gonna reuse them. The new flares are gonna come with brand new hardware. Now the gap between the factory inner fender flare and the body is going to trap a lot of dirt, especially if you off-road your Jeep. So what we're gonna do is get everything prepped. We're gonna pull the other three fenders right off and then we're gonna take it down to the car wash and clean it up before we put the new fender flares on. So the rear fender flares are relatively easy, mainly because they're just there for the aesthetics of the vehicle. The front fender flares, on the other hand, there is one extra step. Most of these are gonna have a light in them. If you just rip it off the Jeep, which it will rip off the Jeep, you are gonna end up tearing the wiring for the light. So first things first, we need to disconnect this light and take it out of the equation. So the plug for this light, if you pull back on the inner flare and look up, is actually right here. So we are gonna reach up, press in the pin. All right, so we're just gonna press in on the clip, pull down on the plug, and it's now free. All right, so once you get the light disconnected on the front flares because of their size, it is screwed in in three different places. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the inner fender on this one. When you take the front fender off, you'll notice this little support here. Most of your aftermarket fender flares are still going to utilize this support. So don't worry about this guy. He's just gonna be in your way for a few minutes. And in this particular case, it's always good to hang on to the 10 millimeter screws just in case the flare kit that you chose wants to reutilize this hardware.
guys, so now that we got it all cleaned up, we're gonna start the process of installing the new fender flares. Now, just about any set of aftermarket fender flares that you get are gonna require it to be bolted into place. So, the problem that you run into, especially on the back, is we're gonna utilize existing holes but these existing holes are behind the body and you can't get to a nut on the other side. Remember, these had plastic Christmas tree clips in them. That's how Chrysler installed it. So most of your kits are gonna come with these guys. These are called nut certs. They're threaded. They're designed to crush into place and create a nut for you to screw your bolt into. The kit provides a tool that basically screws onto the nut cert. It's gonna allow you to put it into place and then you use either a drill or an impact gun and you tighten it until you can't get it out. Now, I've done this probably seven or eight different times on JKs and I can tell you that there's a lot of cussing involved when using this because this is a poor man's way of actually doing it again it's provided so if you don't have any other tools this is the way to do it however in our case because I have done this multiple times I do have a nut cert gun so this guy is going to allow me to take the same thing screw it into place and then press it in in one fell swoop so I don't have to spend my time using this little tool. Either way, the tools are there for you to get these on. So let's get these installed. So the easiest way that I found to do it, get it set in place, use a hammer, just tap it in. This bolt is one of the bolts that comes with your kit. We're just gonna pull that out now. You can see it sits flush, gives you a nice thing, but we gotta keep it there. So that's what this guy is for. We're gonna screw this right onto it until it's nice and tight. And then, and then it's crushed into place. It won't come out. Now you got a spot for your provided screws. Let's get the other seven of these in so we can get this fender flare installed. you've got four arms this part you might need a second set of hands for They go with the bolts as it's been on the other seven or eight kits of these that I've installed come to find out in reading the directions which by the way I strongly encourage everybody to do before you get started on a project looks like they want these nut certs in every hole that's available even the ones that you can reach from behind so we're gonna go through and make sure to line them up now on the front you are gonna have extra holes don't don't worry about those. We're looking for the holes that the clips themselves came out of because that's what the fender flare is gonna line up to. So really guys, it's that simple to put these things on. Once you have the nut certs in place, they just bolt right up, 
line right up, and then you got a nice, clean look. I hope that video was informative. Hope it answers some questions. If there's something that I left out or something that you need to know, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments down below, and I'll get to them just as quick as I can. One final note I am going to say, because we do have a black Jeep with black paint and black flares and black wheels and all black, we are going to try to break this up just a little bit. My wife found some red trim we're going to trim out the fender flares and see if we can give it just a little bit of an accent that's not necessary nor does it come with the kit but i think it's going to look pretty good anyways thank you so much for watching if you haven't done so already please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification because that's the one that's going to tell you when the new videos are coming out so in the meantime happy jeeping and we will see you next time